it's Brian Elder, your favorite Phoenix area real estate agent, and I am back again in South Gilbert at the community of Bellrose. So this is a brand new community being put together by Lennar. It is gated, it has parks, it has basketball courts, it has playgrounds and all kinds of amenities for people to enjoy. And this community really is beautiful. There's farmland all around it. Santan Mountain Regional Park is just down the road. Lots of cool stuff within a very short drive. So we are gonna check out the Cottonwood plan today. It is a two level home, 2,551 square feet, four beds, three baths, and this is a Lennar home. So this is kind of one of those things where they, the builder says that everything is included. So not a lot of upgrades that you're gonna have to do to make this thing actually look like the model, which is kind of a rare thing. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. A cool little front porch area here, not anything tremendously big, but you can fit a nice bench there and sit outside and move with the neighbors. You know how I like that. Let's give a model check here, all right. So not a super long hallway down to the living area, I like that. And we've got right off the front a full bath. So you can see there's the vanity, the mirror, hello. Toilet and shower are both tucked up. Ah, oh, here's the shower head. Over here. And we have a nice little linen closet here at the front too. So again, these are largely going to be a good representation of what you get. Not super duper upgraded like a lot of models that you see out there. Um, they're trying to make sure that you're not breaking the bank when it comes to upgrades, which is nice. So bedroom here with a small little standard closet. And this bedroom isn't very big. I would say, boy, 10 by 10 at the most. And it's kind of a smaller guest suite thing. But anyway, coat closet here. Stairs going up to the second level. We'll get there in just a second. And a nice bit of storage here. Doesn't wrap around, but it does go pretty far back there, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got the garage entrance there and the main living area. So this is pretty. Nice big open space. I like the colors they picked in here too. For some reason that looks pretty good. So plenty of windows. Lots of light in here. This feels nice and open. Very good job. And again, a lot of this is just kind of the standard package. So these cabinets, the counters, pretty much all what you're gonna get with this, with this home. So nice looking island here with a stainless steel double basin sink. You got your dishwasher in it. Didn't hang pendants on this one, but as you can see, it's got the three things there to put them in. A lot of people like choosing those themselves anyway, versus paying for it with the builder. And again, nice cabinets, standard stove, and your microwave. And we've got a pretty good sized pantry here. Nice little corner unit. And there's your refrigerator and the counters on this side. So plenty of space here for the dining area. That is a decent sized table and there's lots of space, so that's cool. So they're not squeezing you in too badly. I don't know that they're gonna let us go out. I don't see a lock on this door, which tells me, yeah, they're not gonna let us out to the patio. But hey, We've got a nice covered area here. Um, we'll come over here and take a peek out the back window. Whoop, hello. And as you can see, pretty good sized lot here. So lots of space there, easily put a pool. Um, not the widest thing in the world, but again, these are, these are good sized lots. And for a home that's starting in the 500s, which is just so rare for a new build now, um, that's pretty great. And again, it, it's not like 500 is gonna turn into 750 or better um, because again Lennar's including a lot of what you see with this so let's head upstairs and check that out yeah good space up here too so as you can see we've got a big loft area so plenty of room for a big old couch and any other stuff 
lovely little linen closet here. Yes, indeed. And let's check out this bedroom here. And this is a pretty good sized room. So, lots of room to put a dresser, a couple nightstands, and a, and a bed. And it does have a baby walk-in. Actually, a pretty good size. Not really a baby walk-in. Let's turn the light on. There's a pretty good amount of room back in this thing. This is a full-on good size walk-in closet. So that's very nice. Pleasant little surprise. And around the corner here, we're going to have a full bath. So single vanity. And there is your toilet, and of course, standard fiberglass shower. And then over here is another bedroom. Yeah, let's turn these lights on. So, not as big as the other one by any stretch. So, if you have kids, they might be fighting over who gets which room, or maybe the guest room is the big one. Nobody gets the big room. That's for y'all to decide. But again, not a bad sized bedroom, just not quite as spacious as that other one. That's kind of a rare find to have a secondary bedroom with that big of a walk-in closet. And here's your laundry space. No units in it, but obviously that's where the washer goes and the little catch pan that they've got. But a good sized room. Um, probably could fit a sink in if you really want to do that. I don't have it stubbed in anywhere that I can see. So that may be an option you can negotiate in. And of course, here is the master bedroom with a big, big plant. Lots of windows, very light. Nice view out to Chandler Heights Road over there. And walk in, it walks in here to the bathroom. So here's our double vanity, one, two. Big old mirror. Didn't put the medicine cabinets in here, but that's not a big deal. And your big shower. Again, this is what it's gonna come with, is this big fiberglass thing. No tile, but these are still pretty nice. And then here we're going to have the toilet tucked back there. And a uh, Another big old closet. Wow, this thing is way bigger than I was expecting. So we go all the way over there. Shelving. Hangers. Yeah, big closet. Very nice surprise. So that's a nice floor plan. I like the layout. And again, most everything in here is the way it's gonna come. I don't I don't think they upgraded this model too much at all. They might have put some higher end flooring in it downstairs. But that's probably about the extent of it. So for something, again, starting in the upper 500s, pretty good pricing, I feel like. I saw that they did have a price reduction on this, which some of the builders are starting to do a little bit of with interest rates being what they are. So that's a good thing. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful home. And everything's included, so they say. Good option for the right fire. Let's head outside, wrapped up. Okay, so that wraps up our tour of the Cottonwood model. Again, this is priced really well, starting at 558. I've seen some homes that were priced way more than that on a lot, half the size, and didn't come with near the stuff that this one does. So this is a beautiful option if you're kind of on the fringe of that being that first time home buyer, or if your affordability has been pushed out by the interest rates, this is a great option. And they're gonna have some really good incentives going on right now. It is fourth quarter, they really wanna get these homes sold. So take advantage of that while they're offering it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, if you want to see this in person, reach out to me, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. I'm happy to help you.